Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping you are having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on rectangular equation. I did a Google search on rectangular equation and it turned out just a fancy way to say when you have parametric equations, we want to get rid of the, shall we call it a middleman? In our case, it's the variable t here. Okay. Now, once you have a secant and tangent, there is an equation that says tangent squared theta plus 1 equal to secant squared. Now, between you and I, I never remember which one is which, but I do know that sine theta squared plus cosine theta squared equal to 1. So on a test or whenever I need to recreate this one, I always start from here and divide the whole equation by cosine theta squared and then the equation comes out because this one becomes tangent theta this is one and this one is secant squared okay, so here we have it we're going to be using this one because as you can see tangent which is really y squared plus one is equal to secant squared which is x squared so here we eliminated it the middle variable or parametric variable t. So we eliminated the middleman. That's how we handle turning a uh, parametric equation into rectang rectangular equations. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pim. Please let me know if the video has been helpful to you. Till next time, have a confident day.